We're here today at an abandoned uh, nursing home here in Arkansas. This is an 80,000 square foot nursing home, so there's gonna be quite a bit to see here. Um, some stuff left behind, some cleaned out. But let's go check it out. Looks like this is part, part of the old sprinkler system, our suppression system for the building. You can see it says November 2009 there on the gauges, so I would say it was open then. This part of the building has deteriorated a little bit more than the rest of it. It seems to be the oldest part. From what I can tell, it looks like there's been two additions at least to the building from the original part. And this is the original. Old projector. Smoking indoors and public facilities in Arkansas has been outlawed for quite a while, so you can tell it's been a while since this was a smoking area. This is what used to be the kitchen. See, it's got the fire suppression system still intact in it. Looks like this may have been the walk-in cooler. storage. I learned long ago you do not open deep freezes or refrigerators. They are some of the worst smells you've ever smelled.
says this was the maintenance room. Looks like it may have been like a nurse's workstation also. Room's kind of creepy looking with the old curtains and the vines growing in. This is the lobby and reception area. Used to have a waterfall in here, it looks like. interesting story on this place from the research I did on it. This uh, used to be a nursing home. I believe before it was a nursing home, it was actually the uh, city hospital. But after it was a nursing home, uh, it became abandoned and the owners, for whatever reason, ended up signing it over to the city. And the city ended up signing it over to a kind of a halfway house uh, rehabilitation group but the uh, city never registered it as being a municipality owned so therefore the taxes kept accruing on it and once the rehab facility took possession of it then they uh, owed fifty six thousand dollars in taxes from the state on it and they basically gave up their rights to it and let it go back to the state for back taxes. And now it can be purchased from the state for the amount of back taxes. But the person who owned it as a nursing home actually uh, was the key suspect, or prime suspect rather, in a uh, contractor's death where a package bomb was sent to his residence and it exploded and injured him. And after being in the hospital for 16 days, he died. That contractor had been hired to build another nursing home facility um, and he didn't follow through with it and apparently stole some materials and money. And the owner of the nursing home stuck out a life insurance policy on him. And then several years after the nursing home was completed and the life insurance policy should have been canceled, it was still being paid on and that's when he received the bomb that eventually killed him. You can see this part of the facility is quite a bit more dilapidated and falling in more so than the other parts.
looks like a nurse's workstation here. In case you didn't know, sexual harassment is illegal. This appears to be an old salon, I guess, for the elderly's hair care. Another restroom. It's out of order though. Can't use it. Like this one would use as an office, it's got an old desk in it. Looks like it's been pretty well cleaned out.